Hey friends! Today's video is going to be my May favorites because I have some other videos planned for the week that I wanted to have them come out closer to my birthday. So we're doing favorites a little bit early because there's some things that I wanted to talk to y'all about and share with y'all. So let's just get started. We got some makeup, we got fashion-y things, we got some nails because I've been back on my fake nail thing. Also, I just redid my hair color. I redid it the other day. So this is fresh color. It's a combination of um, Overtone, Joyco. Well, this one's a combination of Overtone and Arctic Fox. And then this one is a combination of Overtone and Joyco. So I mixed a bunch of stuff together, slapped it on my head and left it there for an hour. These fun nails and Come on, get back there, bracelet, God. But these are from Marmalade Nails and this particular style is Berry Blaze. So this one's like an iridescent, like kind of translucent thing. It's like pink and goldy silver stuff. It's very pretty. It's a stiletto shape. So it's like pointy. And then I also have, I haven't opened these ones up yet. These are the sorcery ones. And then I have some other ones. I can't remember what the style is, but it's a more matte, kind of iridescent and then it has like a coffin shape. So I've been loving fake nails. These I ordered, I kept seeing the ads for them on Instagram and I was like, fuck it, fine, I'll order it. And I was like, cause I'd been seeing them and they looked really pretty and they looked really fun. And I love fake nails and I was like, why not? So I really have been liking these ones. They don't have a ton of styles. I will say their styles are kind of limited as far as like the colors and the, uh, just like the variety, but these ones are pretty sturdy. The ones I had on before these lasted for two weeks, no problem. And I mean, they wore down the normal amount. Like they always wear down. Like these I put on two days ago, in four days, they will not look the same. I like these, these are fun. One skincare thing that I wanted to talk about is the Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum. I ordered this from Beautylish a little while back and I've been using it for a while now and I can say now that I do like it. It's similar to Buffet from The Ordinary and it's also a similar price point. Good Molecules, I'm, I'm, in, I'm curious about the Inky List. So if you have anything that you've wanted to try from the Inky List and stuff that you've heard good things about, I need to watch uh, James Walsh's videos about the Inky List. This really well-priced and the glass bottle, very sturdy. Um, it just comes in a dropper like standard skincare stuff does and doesn't break me out. It's nice. And uh, it's just like a nice kind of all around serum that just like kind of tackles a bunch of things all at once. So it's got like tripeptides that targets fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness, even though I don't really have any fine lines and wrinkles. I'd be a 31 year old lady in four days. So makeup things, a couple of face powders that I've been really, really liking. I have been using the Fenty bronzer a lot more this month. And this one is in the shade Into Sun, which is the lightest bronzer. I think this actually is the lightest bronzer. I don't think they have a contour shade in the powder. It'd be really nice if they had a contour shade in the powder though. So I really like this bronzer and I haven't tried any of the cream ones. I probably won't just because I don't like cream bronzers. But if you're a powder bronzer person like me, and you're pale like me, in the sun is quite nice. I've just been wearing bronzer a lot more lately, even though I'm not wearing it today. But the blush I'm wearing today is the Melt Blush Light in Nevermore. So now this is the second of the blush lights that I have. This one's more of like just a straight kind of pinky shade. It's very pretty. Kind of like a candy pink, like it's not too cool, but not too warm. And it's got a nice glow to it because it's a blush light. I really like this formula and I feel like not enough people talk about this formula of blush because their highlighters are so like pretty, but they're so huge. So I like the size of these ones because they're not like super expensive and a nice like smaller size. Sometimes I feel like the highlighters are just like, it's like a $38 highlighter that's huge and you're never gonna finish it. This is smaller. I believe these are like $22. So they're still expensive, but not like so expensive. You know, I like this, I like this a lot. And I did order that blush at the same time that I got the 420 palette. And so far I love it. So far I, today I'm actually wearing mostly Dank Blunt and Roll It, these three shades right here. 
I really, really do like it. I feel like the only thing, again, I feel like their shimmer formula is not, I mean, I haven't tried any, but except the Gemini, the Smoke Sessions and this one now, but this one, I feel like the shimmer is almost pressed too firmly and it like just doesn't pick up as shiny as I might like it to, but it definitely doesn't break apart the same way that the Smoke Sessions did. The mattes are standard melt, super pigmented. There's a bit of kick up, but they're easy to blend. They're really pretty shades and shotgun is, oh my God, such a beautiful like yellow base, like chartreuse, like a, like a bright chartreuse. Oh, it's so pretty. Wax is also a very good yellow, I will say. Wax and full melt, beautiful. I will say, even though this like palette itself is like really pretty and it's got this like cool 3D effect, it does have like a texture. So if you are not a fan of this, texture, you will probably not like this because it's like all over it. It looks cool. It'll make it so that the actual like design doesn't fade. Do keep in mind that it has like a very different texture than other melt palettes as far as like the packaging, but I really like it. I do. I enjoy it. I'll do a, a get ready with me with it coming up soon. Um, Cause I know people have been wanting it and I did post uh, swatch photos um, next to Gemini on my Twitter. Usually that's where I post stuff first. So I have swatches on Twitter as well. So the last makeup thing I wanted to talk about specifically, I've talked extensively about the Smoky Glow and Midas Cosmetics collection and you all know how I feel about it. But this month particularly, I've just been wearing the Never Dull Lip Gloss so much. Oh my God, like it's such a good lip gloss. It smells like Bonnie Bell, like childhood. It's a great formula. I do like that it's in a like kind of rectangular tube too, because it makes sure that like it, it like snaps into place when it's shut. And I don't know, I just really like the texture of it. I like the packaging of it. I feel like because it's the rectangular one, I can tell exactly which one I'm grabbing out of my makeup bag because so many other lip gloss wands come in like round tubes. So this one coming in the rectangular container, it just makes it like much easier to know exactly which I'm grabbing. I know it's a small thing, but having something that's like slightly different about lip gloss, I'm always a fan of. That's all the makeup things really. There wasn't a ton of makeup things. I've just been wearing the same stuff all month. Like a lot of just the same shit. Yeah. Mostly what I've been buying here and there has been like band merch from bands who have come out with things. <laughs> so, oh, I'll include a photo. Uh, Action S, I got some merch from them. I got a cool new sweatshirt, digging it. At the beginning of all of this, I got an acid tongue t-shirt, loving it. Just a lot of band merch I've been, I've been buying and, but I do want to talk about some other fashion-y things. I think I showed this when I first bought these boots. I've been wearing these pretty much every time because I have been going into work like after everybody else leaves, just like essentially to use my computer and to use my office and like disinfect my whole desk after everybody's left for the day. And so nobody else is there. So I've been wearing these when I go out for that reason, because I just wanted to kind of break them in, get more used to it. They're so comfortable. These are from Demonia and they are fabulous. I was inspired to buy these after Nisi Pisa bought some goth boots and I was like, yeah, I'm buying some goth boots too. I bought these in like January or something, like right after Christmas. I hadn't worn them much before everything started happening, but now I've been wearing them a bunch. I've worn these when I've gone and taken some photos of like murals and stuff when I've gone around town to take photos. I don't know, they just make me feel like badass bitch, you know? Speaking of goth stuff, I bought a couple of things from Foxblood. Foxblood is actually an online shop run and curated, I believe, by Dre Renane. Uh, Dre has a YouTube channel. She does stuff on Instagram all the time. She models for Hot Topic, but she's she's fabulous. And she has her own online web store called Foxblood. And so she has some of her own original designs and then she'll get things from like, she'll have vendors that she sells from stuff from. But a lot of their original clothing is just so incredibly comfortable. They have a decent range of plus size stuff because Dre actually models plus size stuff for Hot Topic regularly. I had owned a kind of like tunic thing that Josh got me for Christmas or no, it was my birthday last year. 
I don't remember. Josh got me this tunic thing last year and it's so comfortable. It's called like the Rhiannon tunic top. I'll include a photo of it here. I love that top. It's so comfy. It's so roomy, especially when I'm feeling like bloated and crampy. Love it for that. But when I got my stimulus check back, I was like, okay, I wanna get some stuff from like online small businesses, buy some clothes that are gonna be comfortable. I bought a couple of things from Foxblood. I got this like drop crotch jumpsuit thing that's like so incredibly comfortable and oh my god like I've worn it so many times cool designs everything is very like I don't know like comfy goth and then I got this like duster kind of shawl thing to go with it and also because a, a sweater that I have had for like six years is starting to fall apart and it's a little warm for this time of year so I wanted something that was like similar to that but I can wear when it's warmer out so I bought that again so comfortable both of them have pockets? Both of them have pockets. I was super stoked on that. And then when they sent it, they actually sent a mask with it. It was so cool. I posted about it on Instagram when I got it. Like I didn't even realize that they had because I just like poured it, poured out the package on my couch. And later on when Libby got home and I was like, where'd you get this black one? She's like, that's not mine. And then I realized that it came from the package that I had gotten from Foxblood. And so I, when I posted about it, they confirmed it. They basically just were making masks out of like excess fabric that they had that were like weird pieces that couldn't be made into clothes. So I thought that was really, really cool. Just like a kind of cool thing to add in to orders right now um, as just like a way of being like, hey, like, thank you. Like, thank you for like continuing to support us. I didn't even have to like choose that I wanted to order one. It was just like an extra thing that they threw in the package that I thought was really, really cool. It was all black, so it matched all my clothes. <laughs> so I was like, cool, I didn't have an all black mask yet. So like, dope. So I particularly love Foxblood. Especially if you've been looking for a place to get like kind of gothy stuff that's not Doll's Kill, Foxblood is a really good option. One thing that I got recently that I particularly been liking, um, there's a local edibles company, Small Batch Infusions, Seattle. Um, it's called Pioneer Squares from a brand Craft Elixirs. I like that they specify vegan, gluten-free, and kosher, which is dope. But these are uh, sour cherry fruit chews. And oh my God, they're like not gummies, but they're closer to like Starburst. This one's like a one-to-one -one five milligrams a piece. And um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's definitely like a red Starburst mixed with like a Luden's cough drop <laughs> as far as flavor. I like that. Music faves. I've been listening to a lot of Action S, a lot of Oliver Elf Army. Um, I've been listening to Lonely Forest a lot too. Just a lot of old stuff. My entire Facebook feed, my entire Facebook memories has just been a lot of Sasquatch stuff for the last like two weeks, which has just been like- Super sad. Uh, <laughs> it's been really weird, especially over Memorial Day weekend. It's always just like, oh, what happened five years ago? Okay. If you would like to see kind of some fun shenanigan stories about festivals, leave a link in a card to a video that I did with Smoky Glow last week. We did a collab, it was very fun. But yeah, it's been a lot of just like reminiscing. Just like a lot of feeling sad. Oh, Spirit Award, I've been listening to a ton. We Are Scientists, I've been listening to a ton. <sighs> God, just listening to a lot of locals. I've just been listening to my friend's music just to like fill the void in my heart. TV things. Libby and I have been watching Winona Earp. We have like two episodes left of the last season to finish. Patton Oswalt's new comedy special just came out on Netflix. Love him. Love him so much. Pat Oswalt's comedy special, amazing. One other comedy special that I definitely recommend that I didn't watch this month, but I watched last month, I believe when it came out. Um, it's Mark Maron's End Times Fun. And uh, it's very bittersweet thinking about it now because it was directed by his late wife, uh, Lynn Shelton. She was like huge, powerhouse of the indie movie scene. She was a huge supporter of like local music here. She's from here. She actually taught like some of my boyfriend's like classes in college. Um, so he had her as a professor and she sadly, tragically passed away this month. And it was like super fucking sad. D go watch a bunch of Lynn Shelton movies because she was amazing and like truly, truly a powerhouse and just like, seemed like the warmest, friendliest soul. I never had the privilege to meet her, but I have a lot of friends who did. Heartbreaking, but definitely go watch Mark Maron's comedy special. It, it's really, really good. 
a couple last things I wanted to mention. Um, Libby and I downloaded The Sims 4 and we have been playing it so much. Oh my God, I forgot how addicting that game can get. And I've been doing it on stream a couple of times. You guys seem to be liking it. And uh, I might do like a relaxing one for my ASMR channel. I don't know. I don't know how y'all feel about Sims content because I don't really want to like start doing a lot of it because that's like totally not usually my content, but I might do some here and there or like live streams of it, which could be fun. Libby and I started watching Juno Birch. Oh my God, I love her. She's hilarious. She does Sims videos, Sims 2 and Sims 4, and she is hysterical. The best like alien-esque makeup looks, has the most ridiculous uh, like on-camera persona. I love her. Her content is hilarious. Oh my God, it's been such a fun thing to discover this month. I feel like that's the only like new YouTube thing that I've discovered this month is Juno Birch. Everything else has just been like standard YouTube stuff that I've been watching. So I think that's everything I did want to talk about. Um, if I seem a little bit low energy in this video, it's because I'm like hardcore on my period right now and it's just- Feeling great. It's like the general stress of everything going on compounded with my uterus being like, where is tea baby? If you know that reference, let me know in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> um, song of the day. Um, song of the day. Um, I've been just listening to like my Seattle playlist nonstop. Um, song of the day is VHS or Sharon Stone from uh, Hobosexual, which is a local rock band. They're kind of like old school kind of metal tinge, classic rock type stuff, just like rock and roll. Like when you think like rock and roll at its core, hobosexual is that. Um, but yeah, the song VHS or Sharon Stone is like this long epic journey of a song. So definitely check it out if you like rock and roll, but I'll leave a link to that playlist in the description. If you are curious and would like to just like jam out to some music that I've been listening to, uh, my birthday is coming up this weekend on Saturday. So that's gonna be a fun time. I don't know what I'm gonna put up. It might be a vlog. I might do a vlog on Saturday, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is my birthday week. So it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be a weird one. If you are new here and would like to to see more of my content, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload things. Thanks so much um, in advance. Uh, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. We just hit a hundred patrons on Patreon. Holy crap. I am gonna wanna start doing um, kind of like extra content there. So if you are a patron of mine, keep up to date with like what I'm posting on Patreon and on the Discord because I wanna like kind of do more interactive content with y'all there. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're being safe. I hope you are staying healthy. Yeah, keep doing your part if you are. And uh, I appreciate you if you are. So thanks for watching everyone and I will see you all on Thursday. Bye.